Welcome back. Uh, continuing on with this example, we're going to, um, I'm just going to remove these little notes. You'll see there's a way to tag these parts of the drawing so that um, you're giving the, the software a way to recognize what you're trying to do. Um, right, so let's turn this into a morph. We've got two key drawings and what I've, um, as I mentioned in the last video, what, I'm, what I've done is I've been very careful. I've planned this out so that it's suitable for morphing. If I was to do something completely um, crazy in the second drawing, like have, um, you know, billowing clouds of smoke instead of a, 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 a ribbony tendril kind of thing, um, there's a good chance that the software will not be able to um, understand what I'm doing and it will um, and do the wrong thing and it'll it'll take me a long time to get it looking right using the hinting process so when you're using morphing always keep in mind that simplicity is key um, you want to keep everything as simple as possible plan your drawings before you even draw anything um, and decide whether or not um, morphing is going to be right for the job so let's turn this one into a morph I'm going to select all the drawings in the first key in the first uh, all the frames in the first drawing I mean I'm going to press Alt M. Um, Alt M. If uh, if you ever forget the shortcut, you can just right-click the frames that you've selected, and choose Morphing, Create Morphing, and there's the shortcut there. So in the timeline, you'll see that there's a lot of arrows just appeared between on e on every frame. There's an arrow, and now if I scrub the timeline, you can see that we've got a morph happening. It's totally not doing what we want it to do. Um, but at least there's a starting point. Now what you need to do when, you, when you're doing morphing, you're, doing, um, uh, you're going from one shape to the other, you need to scrub the timeline a few times, or play it back somehow, um, and decide where the problems are. Um, and here I can see that the main problem, the first problem, the biggest problem, is what you can see as well. It's right around here. Um, and you can see that as I scrub the timeline, it doesn't do what I want it to do. This is the software's best guess of what you mean. So like I say, an in-betweener in real life in pen and paper animation, an in-betweener will, he, you know, he or she's got a mind that they can use to, um, to, to guess or to, you know, figure out what's logical, what, what you mean. Um, but the software doesn't have that, doesn't have like a creative mind. It can't, it can't understand what you mean. It's only got pure mathematical um, brain. So what we're going to do is hold its hand a little bit through this process. So we want it to, we're going to tell it exactly what points move where. Um, so to do that, we select the morphing tool and the morphing tool in the time in the um, tools panel is this one here, morphing. So what this does is allow it, it allows you to place a point, and that point is a little label. So in the first keyframe, I'm going to label that this section here, um, and then in the second keyframe, I'm going to tell the software this label has now moved up here. So it knows to move that point up to there. And it was already doing that anyway. So I'm going to remove that point. Actually, I'm going to just demonstrate by showing the biggest stuff up in this in the um, in the morph. Uh, and I'll tag that. So from there to there, that's where we want the morph to happen. So now if we scrub, you will see that that tangle that was happening is no longer happening. We do have some other problems, but um, you can see that it, it has taken that hint that we've said. This, um, this is a zero, by the way, this little tag. Um, and uh, on the second keyframe, it's recognized that tag again, and so it knows to move everything there. So the, the other problems it has um, is with making the the smoke now move exactly like we want it. So we've we've find we've kind of um, basically like a real broad way told it what we want it to do, but we want to now fine tune it. So um, I'm going to start this tag process from the bottom because it's always good to start with smoke to to to, um, to lock the the source of the smoke down to the point that you want it to. So in the first keyframe, I'll tag the bottom of the smoke. In the second frame keyframe, I'll take the bottom of the smoke. So if we scrub the timeline now, you'll see that it knows to leave the bottom of the smoke down there. 
um, all the way through the morph. So now it's looking pretty good, but there are still some problems. There are some, um, if this was given to a human in between her, they wouldn't make these problems. Well, some of them might, I don't know. But um, uh, the next thing that's happening, the next problem, if we move our way up the smoke and identify the areas that need attention, the next part that needs attention is this little lump here in the number three shape. The, num uh, the, num the, the lump is moving downwards and then another one is just appearing from nowhere. What we want to do is tell the software that this lump in the first keyframe becomes this lump in the second keyframe. So now if we scrub the timeline, it knows what we want because we've told it. All right, so now it's looking a lot better. It's looking more like what we originally planned. The last, um, the last real issue that I can see is up the top here, this little shape seems to be doing some random kind of morphing. So I'm just going to put one more tag here, make that lump become that lump. And there, oh, now that's created another problem which you can just fix with another tag, another hint. So I'll just do that. That's the top of the smoke is now going uh, down into the ribbon. With smoke, you don't want anything to move downwards uh, unless you, you know, the specific reason for it. Um, because it's warm, it's hot air and it's rising, we want all these shapes to move up. And now we have our morph. Um, yeah, it looks good. So if I play that back on the loop, that's pretty much what we want. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about um, uh, some more complex shapes and some different types of morph. And... Uh, things.